Hello everyone, welcome to the lectures of the Monstack. In this lecture, we will uh, discuss about MongoDB. So, what is MongoDB? MongoDB we would have quite uh, discussed about like it is a database which where we can store data. But what type of data? Uh, here, we mo mostly we store JSON like documents, and also we can store much more types of document. It is up to you how we design it and be scalable to it and it's also like a uh, no sql language if you have if you would heard of sql commands and all if you have gone through those commands we will go through that which command it does mongodb supports so like mongodb especially is a like database management system where from website we can store our data we are free if there is a cluster we can create for free and we can use it i will show you that also how you can use it and where all it is used Yes, that's what I said. So the document oriented, scalable, and high performance. MongoDB stores data in flexible JSON format document, and it's also scalable, high performance. Even the data modeling, like data categorizing it and storing it and editing it in the database, is also easy. Like we can read, e reduce, and edit the data easily yes that's what i said query language find update and delete it makes mongodb very easy to us to use the data read the data and delete it if you are if you are the admin of that mongodb account uh, yes it also provides the analytics and data transformation how much the data is used and how much memory it uses like if you don't have any database in your current like in your local host then you can prefer mongodb because it's free and reliable also it also provides some what we say the access control the security purpose which will help you in further more cases like in the normal database which you keep you know the in the pc itself storing the data it provides encryption auditing and authorization also so let's move on with the database how it looks and how we get into it so this is the mongodb account i will just sign in and show you how the data is there for my previous um, projects i will show you that also uh, go to the, this organization which is my current organization and here are the clusters which i made for my project like code crash for stack of low flow on a youtube and all let's start with creating new project you can uh, keep any name you want uh, this one is not required if you create a project here you will be like own user if you want to invite anyone you can invite anyone it will create a project Like we got an project here, we can create a cluster. Cluster is a type of category which we want to keep. Like you can use a free version also. It provides 51 to MB shared RAM and speed. If you want like serverless, it will give you up to 1 TB storage and empty. It's according to ours. Mostly we prefer serverless. It's more reliable and speed. It's auto scaled. We'll use cluster zero name. We can keep any name you want. Like for according to your project name aws mumbai because it's very near to me is mumbai and we'll create a deployment for that so to connect with the database you want like create database user you can keep it like uh, to have in the mongodb url which is with, uh, which i will show you that also how you can connect that so it, it is getting created so leaving that i will show you this project is like youtube project which i made earlier oh it's not been connected yet i think so mm. 
browse the collection where we store our data there so this is how the data will be there in our mongodb like here we can this is a mongodb site where which i have created categorized it by users and users have kept it id email join on description and name video files will be like uh, you don't have to worry about this this is up according to your project how you will keep it like have users you can like search here by their name or email also i type here email and have email like my mail itself search and give the result also you can also edit this document like here description i will give it a more add on and also change the type out string integer or array you can have many much type of data so database is created updated and create we can create a database over here also and also visualize your data refresh it according to yours requirement so now i will show you how the setup has been done so we can go to your two this is server side the which one i showed you to so connecting to the back end here we can have a function like const mongos dot connect db url url which be like which for the connection i showed you right i think so not here so this url you have to get this url and also to change the password here which you have kept in this earlier before so here you have to keep the url db url so according to that the data will be transferred to the api calls and we'll have a mongoose.connect simple just a five to six line code it will be connected to your code and that's how you will have to connect the code with your database and okay after that you can use your routes user route video routes and comment routes to connect with your routings like here we have the user route like login update and get our channel if you walk through my project link github link you will get to know and for the mongodb we have to like create a models too like to give a schema user schema have the email which i showed you right the collection so according to that id id will be created by the mongodb itself we'll have email join on description and name according to that we have kept right here the type and default if you are required if it's all if it's must then you have to keep required to or false here you can keep uh, like string or number or anything like um see here you have date and video files you can have like object also in particular schema title type string required to particular project and to control like have a update and delete to create a new object near db in the like email and also we have a function to where we say like delete post comment we can have the save comment to save the save the data in the db but it should match the schema if, if it doesn't match the schema then it won't get into your db make sure of that and we can also have the function to to get it validated from the db that it is valid id or it will set this it will check it will give a response that comment is not available in the db so yes this is so called the find by id and delete this is the function of the mongodb there are many more functions you can see like if you check here mongodb commands there are many much command you can see here to search delete find by id and modify find by there are many account find by id and update find by id and delete and also you can have find by id and remove too 
find delete many to delete the data in many structures save is for dating getting the new data and saving it find by id and update find by id and delete is also there find by id so this is how mongodb works and where we store our data and fetch our data the main part is our authentication part where we have to keep it more secure so that no one can access it so make sure to keep it in the env file which we don't keep it here which we store in our uh, deployed sites like in Versal or anything we keep it hide it there so make sure to keep the urls in the env folder env files so that's how in this lecture thank you for watching